Well, I have no idea what to say here. Just as I posted my video on the Kyle Larson situation, more news has come to light. First article, per USA Today. Let's pull that up right now. And this is dated today, 12.40 p.m. Eastern. Driver Kyle Larson indefinitely suspended by NASCAR for using a racial slur during the live stream broadcast of a virtual exhibition race last night. Larson, of course, of Chip Ganassi Racing in NASCAR's Cup Series, was competing in an iRacing event when he seemed to lose communication on his headset with his spotter. During the mic check, Larson could be heard saying the slur. One driver replied, Kyle, you're talking to everyone, bud. And the host of the live stream said, no way did that just happen. Chip Ganassi Racing reacted first, suspending Larson without pay, calling the his words offensive and unacceptable. NASCAR then weighed in a f an hour or so later, weighed in with its own punishment for violating member contact conduct guidelines. Eh, can't talk today. 27-year-old Larson was also ordered to attend sensitivity training. Now, as I said in my last video, I'm not part of cancel culture. I never was, never will be. So, I know a lot of you are a part of cancel culture and are quickly going to cancel Kyle Larson. I will not do that. Statement from NASCAR. NASCAR has made diversity and inclusion a priority and will not tolerate the type of language used by Kyle Larson during Sunday's iRacing event. They went on to say our member condu conduct guidelines are clear in this regard and we will enforce these guidelines to maintain an inclusive environment for all for our industry and fan base. Larson included Larson issued an apology on Twitter today saying he was sorry, especially for the African American community, and I will play that apology right now. Yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, you know, last night I made a mistake and said the word that should never ever be said and um, you know, there's no excuse for that you know I wasn't raised that way you know it's just an awful thing to say and I feel very sorry for my family my friends my partners the NASCAR community and especially the african-american community you know I understand the damage is probably unrepairable and you know, I own up to that um, but I just wanted to let you all know how sorry I am and you know, I hope everybody is, is staying safe during these crazy times. Thank you. Hmm. So, we just heard from Larson. Radio communication was broadcast to followers on Twitch, the gaming app, which I use. I stream Town of Salem, I stream Yu-Gi-Oh! on it. And occasionally I will stream Kim Possible episodes on it. As well as KP games and Pokemon. So, well, it was also done to eNASCAR.com viewers. Other 61 drivers in the race were also on the virtual race session. And it was not part of NASCAR officially sanctioned event, but there were two NASCAR officials on the public chat. Shortly after the incident, users on the radio chat responded in disbelief, and it did not take long for a replay of the incident to show up on social media. And there is a replay of that incident on my last video. I will have the link in the description. So you can play that first before you listen to this. But I just cannot believe this. I really can't. Larson's a graduate of their Drive for Diversity program. And he's the only driver of Japanese descent to win a major NASCAR race. This is his seventh full-time season as a cup driver, and he has really come into his own over the past few seasons. So, to hear something like this happen to a guy like Larson, it's just unbelievable. And in January, he finally won the Chili Bowl after 13 attempts, so 
He's Mr. Race anything, anytime, anywhere. And to have this, his passion, taken away from him because of a mistake, I don't know what to say anymore. I, I'm just done with this for now. If more news pops up, I will bring it to you. But until then, I'm gonna park it in the garage for right now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.